Hello Tools In earlier videos we seen that the stop and wait protocol uh, we with the stop and wait protocol we seen that uh, we have the some of the limitations so those limitations we are going to be resolved in this uh, next protocol that is go back n so in the go back n as name implies whenever uh, any uh, packet is corrupted any packet is corrupted or whenever any packet is not received to the receiver receiver will give the <coughs> hello tools then uh, next protocol is go back n so in the earlier protocol we seen that that is stop and wait protocol in that we seen that uh, we have the few limitations so those limitations we are going to be solved are uh, somewhat it is a uh, better protocol than the stop and wait protocol so that is called go back n so let us see first what actually the characteristics then how it is going to be work so if you see few characteristics of go back n go back n receiver never receives out of order packets means i in the receiver side whenever packet suppose first packet is it is received as a zero so always receiver expecting the next packet as one means in order or it will always receive in order packets out of order it never allows so whenever uh, it will receive a uh, sequence number as a n then it will receive it is expecting the next number next to packet sequence number as a n plus 1 so that's why one of the major characteristics of the go back n is it never receives out of order packets then second one is it will give the acknowledgement as cumulative means we already seen cumulative acknowledgement that it will give the acknowledgement for group of packets and whenever it requires it will use piggy backing acknowledgement also suppose by the time it is giving the acknowledgement suppose it need to give a, it need to send some data to the sender so together it will send to the sender means the data whatever receiver want to send to the sender and then acknowledgement for the previous packets whatever it is received means receiver is received so these are the few characteristics and important characteristics in the go back n then let us see what actually the name here itself go back n suppose <coughs> assume that this is sender and receiver sender want to send this is a sender wants to send eight packets this is the sliding window sender wants to send eight packets so sender sended first packet with sequence number second packet like this he sended all the packets assume that second packet is not received the destination means it is uh, corrupted uh, it is missed in between so this packet is lost so as we discussed uh, one of the characteristic of the go back in is first it will receive the zeroth packet then it will receive first packet then it is expecting the second packet but here second packet it is not received so after certain amount of time uh it is not getting the acknowledgement so these packets it is simply ignoring and it is giving negative acknowledgement to the sender as two because second packet is lost so now the concept of go back and will come here suppose these are the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the assume packet numbers so whenever receiver give the negative acknowledgement it will 
take the that sequence number and then it will going back to that particular sequence number from that sequence number onwards it is sending entire window so here it is sending first packet second packet to seventh packet now receiver is received already 01 is received now 2 3 4 5 6 7 is received now it is going to give the cumulative acknowledgement for all these packets ack0 main seventh packet is received assume that uh, here sequence numbers are eight sequence numbers so maximum sequence number is seven and then expecting the next packet as a sequence number zero okay so this is case of last data packet and here the concept is go back and like whenever any packet any packet is not reached to the destination the receiver will give the negative acknowledgement then it will take that sequence number from the acknowledge negative acknowledgement it is going back to that particular packet which have that sequence number then from there onwards it is sending all the packets in that window current window 